This video has been sponsored by Digiati Software. Hey, what's going on everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how to use MacX Media Trans. To download this program, a link to this website will be in the description. This is a program that allows you to transfer photos, music, video, and more without using iTunes or the Apple Finder. So as you can see, I've connected an iPhone 6S with iOS 15. And it also shows you the battery percentage and the amount of storage used. Let's begin. So as you can see, we're in the photo transfer area and we have this one screenshot that we can import right now just by double clicking and it opens up in preview. So it's now downloaded to the computer. You can also use this to import new photos. Next, we have the music manager. Over here, we're just gonna import this one song. So it's now imported and we just have to press sync. So it's gonna be syncing it directly to the iPhone, which you can then be available to use in a program such as Apple Music or Spotify for local files. Next, we have the video transfer option. So if we click on video, we have the ability to import or export videos, such as the screen recording and a video of my M1 Mac. In this case, we have a video that I'm gonna import, which is a Windows XP Music Visualizer. So now it's synchronizing, and it warns you not to remove the iPhone from the connection. And now the video import is completed. The next thing we'll look at is data security. This option allows you to select a local file for encryption or decryption. Then we have books. So if we click on books, as you can see, we have the ability to import EPUBs, PDFs or audiobooks, all free. We also have voice memos and ringtones, so we can easily import ringtones to the device or we can also download vo voice memos from the device. And last but not least, we can use the iPhone as a flash drive. So as you can see, we can easily drag files. So once again, we're gonna drag a video and it will just import. So it'll take a few seconds to import onto the device. And it's now on the device. So that was a demonstration of Mac Media Trans. I will also mention that there is a Windows version for this program as well, so feel free to download that if you have a Windows PC. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thank you all for watching and see you all in my next video.